Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for another web conference from the Brain Aneurysm Foundation. This evening, we're lucky to have with us Dr. Jose Biller uh, from Loyola University. He's the chairman of neurology department. He's going to talk to us about differential diagnosis of the worst headaches of your life, and obviously talk also about subarachnoid hemorrhage and its implications in patients suffering from a brain aneurysm. Jose, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Aaron, and thank you everyone for joining. Um, is believe it or not, is kind of a warm in Chicago. We had a relatively mild winter thus far. Today, what I plan to discuss are some relevant aspects of the different conditions that can present with the worst headache of one's life. And obviously, I'll try to keep it simple so all of us can have a, an exchange of thoughts and try to be as careful and comprehensive as possible in the allotted time. So I'm going to first talk about what is known as a thunderclap headache. And a thunderclap headache is characterized by a severe, explosive headache that occurs suddenly, that reaches the maximum severity within one minute, that is debilitating, and that indeed may be the first sign of a life-threatening event. And therefore, physicians evaluating patients presenting with such a complaint need to be aware of the implications and have a very thorough evaluation for these patients. There are basically two approaches that I found as a practitioner useful when confronted with the care of someone who presents with such a thunderclap headache. One is the patient who has such a headache and has neck rigidity, neck stiffness. There is a limitation on flexion of the neck that the patient may narrate or the physician can elicit. And when that occurs, there are two or three major disorders that should be on top of the list. The first one, obviously, is a subarachnoid hemorrhage or bleeding in the subarachnoid space. The second one will be an infection in the subarachnoid space, as it may happen with an acute meningitis or an acute encephalitis. And also, although less common, but observed particularly in the extremes of age, some patients who may have a systemic infection, not an infection in the brain membranes, like in meningitis, but a systemic infection in the lung, for example, or a blood infection may have neck stiffness associated with occasionally severe headache that is called meningismus, but that doesn't imply an infection. Here is an example of a brain looked from the inferior surface, and you can see that the brain is congested is very red and particularly at the basal surface of the brain, you see a very thick amount